is up YouTube, my name is James and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here today and again, I've been getting a lot of comments on this sorry about the shooting mic quality, I'm getting a new one soon so bear with me for maybe the next one or two videos please, I beg you, I love you today's video is going to be on making a composite and not just any kind of composite, this is going to be a chain link fence composite so I'm going to be, sh I shot through a fence went once with the fence in focus and once with the background in focus all the cityscape in focus so those two photos the exact same framing and we're going to be taking some of the um, chain links out like some of like the blurred spaces in the chain links and making it in focus in there and then some of them are going to be out of focus uh, we'll show you guys in a second when we get into the lightroom but anyway guys before I end this little intro the link to download the files are in the description below. It goes right to Dropbox. The raw files are there. For you to download and follow along, you guys can um, open them up, throw them in Photoshop, and uh, just do your thing as I do my thing. And anyway, guys, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the video. And lastly, guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, guys, so here is the photo we're going to be editing today. Um, there's actually two photos since this is a composite. This is the first photo right here of the chain link fence out of focus and the whole background in focus. It's in Chinatown during sunset. It was awesome. Here is the picture um, of all of it out of focus with the chain links in focus. And then here is the picture where the two are combined where I have these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 chain links all um, cut out. And um, with the with the background in focus, put back in, and as you see on all the all the edges, all of it is out of focus. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select both of your photos that you're editing, uh, these two right here. You want to put a photo, edit in, and go to Adobe Photoshop 2018 or 2017 or 2016, whatever the hell, whatever you have. So when you get to Photoshop, you're going to see. This picture and this picture both go into separate files. It's going to have a little lock button right here on the side. I already uh, unlocked it. You're going to press that lock button and unlock it. Okay, so then you're going to hit command and uh, drag this picture all the way to your new layer right here. And uh, you're going to throw it right on top just like that. Make sure it's even perfectly on top. And then you're going to bring this layer, the one that's in focus with the background, to the bottom. Okay? Now before we get into this, I'm going to show you guys the actual finished file here. So here, this is what it looks like, and here is what all the layers look like here. So if I take away this one right here, this layer right here, it takes away all the out of focus. It puts just the in focus. And as you can see, each um, layer that I click the eye on, it gets blurry again, as you can see. So pretty much all I did was make a layer for each little uh, chain link space and uh, I made its own little like I made I cut it from the photo made it into its own layer and then I made it disappear so we're gonna go do that right now on our new picture so to make this more organized here than last time we're gonna make a group uh, group here and we're gonna be calling it uh, chain links and that's gonna be where we put all of our cutout chain links so right now we're gonna go to our uh, our layer zero here, we're gonna call this um, all blur, and we're gonna call this one in focus. In focus meaning the backgrounds in focus all blur, meaning the backgrounds all blurred. And so now we're gonna go to our all blur layer here, and we're gonna be going straight for the middle one, and we're gonna start cutting it out. Now, there's multiple tools you can use to uh, start cutting out these blurred chunks. You could use the quick selection tool, the lasso tool, the pen tool. But I'm going to be using the quick selection tool just for this video because I think it's the easiest one um, personally. But you can do whatever you feel like if you know how to use it. So let's get straight into this. We're going to start selecting our area here just like that. And it looks like this one selected pretty good honestly. Like perfectly right away which is like super super surprising. Um, yeah it looks like we're all good here. Um, except for this little bit of banding up here, I want to catch that real quick. So let's make our um, by use, by making using the uh, left bracket button, you can make your little uh, uh, brush smaller. So we're gonna go right here and just click and drag right along there. 
click and drag right along here keep going all the way to the end we're gonna do the same thing right along here and keep going all the way to the end so they can get rid of that little like those yellow like lines because those are not good you don't want those you don't want those guys okay perfect that is actually perfect didn't expect this to work out so easily the first try so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, double click our uh, selection here and we're going to hit layer via cut and what that's going to do is it's going to take our selection it's going to cut it from the original image the original layer and it's going to make a brand new layer with just that um, selection that we cut out we're going to throw that in that layer into our chain links group and then we're going to make it disappear and just like that we have our first chain link now as you can see this black line here is a chain link out of focus which means only one thing that we um, misproportioned our uh, layers so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our in focus layer and we're just going to drag it along here until it's perfectly aligned with our uh, chain links and I think just like that should be good now it's all in focus and now we can zoom in and you can see it perfectly and now what we're going to do is we're going to do that for all the layers for one two three four five six seven eight eight more layers now I'm not going to do all of them here I'm going to do just try to get the basic gist of it I'm going to do the four ones in the middle here and then you guys can go do the rest yourself if you want to continue this or go do in your own photo so let's uh, go to this ne next one right here we're going to click our all blur layer and we're going to start selecting it we're just going to go like this just like that and it looks like it's all selected we're, we see that little right there but we already did that before so we're not going to do it again um, just because like we're not gonna try to be, we're not gonna try to be perfect here but now we have a situation here our lines are going on to our uh, chain link here and we don't want that because then the chain link will be missing from the photo now you will notice it when you're always zoomed out but if you look in a little bit zoom in a little bit in the photo you're gonna see it so what you want to do is hit this uh, minus tool up here the subtract selection tool we're gonna make this a little bit smaller of a uh, of a uh, brush here and we're gonna go quickly along the edge of this and just get make sure it's all the way at the end of the chain link just like that and now you see now when we minus it out now we got a little bit went in too far so now we're just gonna do the rest real quick while we're at it and now we're gonna hit the plus tool again and just go right there and it should be perfect now we're going to hit once again double click our selection hit layer via cut drag our layer into the chain link and hit the uh, invisible the visible uh, eye and there we go we have another chain link that is now gone and if my if you're asking me I think it looks pretty good I think this is actually going very well so far the quick selection tool is working very well for us so now we're going to go right here where you see this little bokeh here. It looks awesome, blurred, but we're, we want it in focus because this is the center of the street here. This is one of the focal points of the whole photo here. So now we're going to go back to our all blur. We're going to hit the selection. Ooh, and now, see? We had a major problem. It selected all of the chain link instead of just the edge of it. So now we have to hit our subtraction tool again. And just go all along here, all along here. Oh, and see, it's because of the separation of colors right there. It's very, very. It's not very like separated. It didn't catch. That those are two different things. So what you want to do is go back into it in a second, and uh, we want to hit the add tool again, and just go back there once again. Hopefully, it catches it this time along the edge along the edge right there along the edge okay cool and it got most of it this time now we still have some more uh, 
We still have some more spots we get to fix. It looks like this right side edge here is all good. Now we should go to our uh, left side, this left corner here, and make sure that's all good to go. We're going to go back to our subtract tool, get rid of this little spot right here. Perfect. And now we're going to go back to the uh, subtract tool, Just keep the subtract tool in, and go this little spot right here. Once that's good, perfect. It's, it's good enough. Um, this whole bottom is good. We want to uh, subtract a little bit of this. Um, make sure it's good. Now we're going back to our add tool. Make sure that's back in there. And now we have this whole bottom chain link to fix. It's uh, pretty, pretty fucked up here. Uh, ooh, excuse my language. I try not to curse my tutorials anymore because some people don't like that. <laughs> Some people don't like to hear cursing in their editing tutorial videos. You know, gotta keep it PG for the kids. It's for the kids. Alright, that's good enough for me. Uh, we're gonna go back to our add tool. We're gonna fix this one little spot, make it a little smaller here, and just uh, get into that corner. Perfect. We're gonna make sure our right side's good again. Oh, and this little spot right here is just a little off, too off to not fix in the for the video um now if this was actually like my picture that i was gonna be really important i would actually go a little more a little more in depth into it make sure it's absolutely perfect but for a video and for your guys sake you guys uh this is good enough so we're gonna hit layer via cut once again drag this layer into chain links and then click the eye and there we go look how awesome that looks right there you see that those cars coming down the street right there those two cars I just think it looks dope. I think it looks awesome. And so lastly, we're going to hit this last chain link. Go back to our all blur layer. Click the add button. And we're just going to select all that. I'm going to command D. Let's see if we get a better selection this time. Just select it. Uh, yep, no. This one's going to be fucked up as well. Alright, this should be fun. Deselect all this. We're going quick this time. We want to see... Uh, we want this shit to be good again real quick. We don't have time to do this nine times, so because that's frustrating. To do this shit all like constantly, this gets get a little annoying, you know? So we're just gonna keep on going. Alright, cool. That's the gist of it. Now we're gonna get in there and do the nitty gritty. Make sure it's all perfect. We're gonna zoom in, start with this left corner and go clockwise. So that's all good there in that corner. It's good in that corner. And now this corner we have to fix. We're going to hit the subtract tool, I believe. And uh, get in right there. Let's see how it conforms. Perfect. Just the way I like it. And now we're just going to hit the subtract tool along this spot here. Oh, no. That's not good. It went completely out like that. So when that happens, just take Command Z. Redo it. Try again. That shit happens. It's okay. Just do one thing. When it happens, just do a little bit at a time, step by step. Just let keep going super slow and see it happen again. So we're going to Command Z once again. And we're just going to go right again right there. Happen again real quick. Just it keeps happening. So guys, when that happens, what you're going to do, okay, is you want to go to your lasso tool. And you want to hit this little button right here. One with this box um, filled in on the outside and in, and not filled in on the inside. And it's going to say subtract from selection. So what you can do right here is you're going to zoom in. And you can subtract all of this area here from your selection. And see, now it's good again. So we're going to go all the way on this edge right here. All the way here. And it's just going to subtract. Oh shit, I did it the wrong way. You got to complete the circle. Or like the selection. So right there, and it's going to subtract that spot from your selection. So if you never can get it, just go to your lasso tool and just do that. So we're just going to do this for the rest of the selection here because this one's being quite frustrating. And it's okay. It happens, guys. It happens. It's part of the game. Photoshop is a tricky, tricky program. And honestly, I don't know shit about it, but I know this, so I'm going to teach you guys it. Because, <laughs> um... I don't know, I want to branch more into Photoshop and stuff like that, and all that. So, wrong tool. We're going to go to the Add tool real quick right here, and just 
go right there and we should be good right there just click that little spot right there and we're good this chain link is perfect near perfect not perfect though um, and we're gonna double click layer via cut drag it into our chain links group and hit the visibility and look at that guys we are good we have our four chain links honestly this picture is good enough like this but like the freedom tower is right right up here and I want to keep that you know I want to keep that freedom the freedom tower right there because I I, uh, I I like how it looks so that's why I did these three up here sorry not these three these five up here I made it nine total square total squares but if this is like this this little spot here was the main focal point of the photo then I would just keep this but it's up to you guys to make that decision for yourself and uh, hopefully you guys have your own chain link fences uh, pictures that you can go take and uh, do this edit with I think it's super fun to do um, I definitely want to do more like this um, I have some pictures like this I want to um, try again and go to new places and do a bunch of different shit so it should be a lot of fun I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what kind of videos you want to see next let me know give me some link me some pictures guys you want to see edited like leave, leave me like a uh, Leave me a really cool, like, uh, edits that you want to see, like, uh, copied and stuff like that. I want to do more stuff. I'm running out of ideas here because I have a style that I like to keep. The only thing I can imagine doing is going into more, like, uh, studio stuff and showing, or maybe showing you guys on hand shoots. That's, like, the only really thing that I can think of. Otherwise, I'm, like, out of ideas, guys. So I need some help to, f to figure out what else I can do to keep you guys uh, entertained and keep you guys learning how to edit photos and how to take photos and all that stuff like that. Anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe. And lastly, guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.